What's going on everybody? This is David and today I'm going to teach you how to minimize OLED burn-in using Windows. So these tips obviously are not going to completely remove OLED burn-in, but it's going to be something that is going to help you prevent burning while using windows all right so for example if you want to just go take a real quick break go you know get some lunch real quick or go to the restroom and you don't want to turn off your tv all the time or whatever then this is a great guide or for example if you're if you have like a window open like this right here or a program that's this size and you're working on it a lot of the time you'll have the icons on the left side right and those being there all the time are obviously going to be susceptible to burn in or your taskbar for example right your taskbar is always in the same exact position so if you have that on all the time for long periods of time your tv is eventually going to burn those in so if you can hide those as much as possible that's going to be advantageous to your oled and helping you prevent OLED burning. But the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna talk about the wallpaper. So what I got going on here is a program called Wallpaper Engine. It's made by Steam, so you can get it on the Steam store. And it is $3.99, so you are gonna have to pay $4 for it, but I think it's well worth it. I feel like this is way better than having a completely black screen, for example, or some dark kind of wallpaper because with this program you're going to be able to have live wallpaper so this one for example is the razor vortex one it's built in but you can choose other ones like this one right here or we can choose one that actually completely moves the screen like this one right here so this one is constantly moving the pixels as we can see and you're not going to have any burn in but you're going to have a really cool picture in the background so if you don't like any of these, you can obviously go into the store and there are thousands upon thousands of different um, wallpapers that you can choose. So don't even worry about it. There are so many wallpapers that you won't even know where to start. I like this one because it is simple and it looks really cool. And all the parts that would be burned in, like the light parts are all <clears throat> changing colors and all the black parts are completely black on the OLED, so they're not gonna be um, you know, burned in anyway. So this wallpaper, even though it's not completely moving, is gonna be pretty OLED resist or burned in resistive, right? So the second thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want to auto hide these pesky icons that are there all the time. But you can't do this through Windows. So you are gonna have to download a program and that program is called Auto Hide Desktop. So desktop icons. So there is a website that you have to go to. You have to go to this website or you can just click in the link description below. You're gonna to wanna to download it. And once you download it, install it. And this is what it's gonna look like. So with this program, you are able to start it with Windows and started minimized so obviously for this to work you're going to have to have the program open so i would suggest you start with windows and start it minimized that means it's not going to pop up when you start windows it's going to hide in your taskbar so don't even worry about it just click those two and it is going to be inside of windows you're never going to have to worry about the program ever again it's also got an option where you can change the timer. So for example, if I want the icons to change after four minutes or 30 seconds or whatever, I can do that. I prefer the default five seconds. So if I am I'm looking away from a screen or I'm doing something else, then I can have it hide by itself within five seconds. Or, and then if I want it to show up, I either do a middle mouse click, left mouse click, and you can adjust all that in these settings right here. All right, so that's for hiding the icons. Also, you can also, what else you can also do is you can hide the taskbar with this program as well. Now, Windows does have a built-in ta taskbar auto-hide feature. 
So if you right click and click taskbar settings, you can go to taskbar behaviors and you can click automatically hide, but I will show you what that looks like. So yes, it does auto hide the taskbar, but as you'll see in a second, I'm just waiting for it to go away. It's It leaves this little line in the bottom. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's this little white line in the bottom of the screen. But if I use the one built into this app, it's going to completely remove that line. So you see what I mean? So I do prefer this one in the app because I don't have that little line in the bottom. So there you go. Those are the measures that you can take to prevent burn-in. Obviously, um, go into your TV or monitor settings as well and try to uh, use the built-in settings to prevent burning as well. But uh, if you're using Windows, these are some good steps that you can take to prevent burning. All right, that's all I got. Thank you guys for watching this video and God bless.